when we are dealing with transformations of complex number, we are basically talking about three transformations. The first one is circles. The second one is perpendicular bisector, which is a line. And the third one, what we call a half line. Let's start with the circle. Now, if you see a question in the format of modulus of z equals to some constant, let me call that constant k, then this represents a circle of center 0, 0 and radius k. That's it. Here's a question. Suppose you have modulus of z equals to 2. You have to write down what it is and you have to sketch it. So we know it is a circle whose center is 0, 0 and whose radius is 2. So if you have to sketch it, it would be like this. And this would be the circle. The center would be 0, 0. And the radius would be 2. So this is, this is 2. This is minus 2. This is 2. This is minus 2. So that's it. Now, there is a version of this. If we have z minus another complex number, uh, let me call it a plus bi modulus equals to some k. In that case, the circle is going to have the center AB and radius K. Okay, so center AB and radius K. So let's do another example. So suppose you have a complex number Z minus 3 plus 2i equals to 4. Now, this is going to be a circle whose center is 3, 2 and whose radius is 4. So, that's all. Now, if you have to sketch it, it doesn't have to be an accurate sketch, just a rough estimate of what it could be. So, it is... So, 3, 2 is if this is 3 and if this is 2. So, this is the center. 3, 2, and the radius is going to be 4 in each direction. So this is 3, and 4 would be here, somewhere around here, at minus 1, and 4 would be in this direction, 3 plus 4, 7. This is 2, 4 would be in this direction, so 2 plus 4, this is going to be 6, and this is going to be 2, and another 2, so this would be minus 2, and the circle would be something like this. Just a rough idea. Now that's it. Now Sometimes you would be asked to write down the Cartesian equation of the circle. For that, you need to remember the C2 concept. It's if you have a circle with center AB and radius R, then the equation of the circle is going to be x minus A whole squared plus y minus B whole squared equals to radius squared. That means the sum that we just did that is going to have a Cartesian equation of x minus 0 whole squared is x squared, y minus 0 whole squared is y squared, and radius squared is 2 squared. And in this case, x minus 3 whole squared plus y minus 2 whole squared equals to 4 squared. So that's how do you express, you know, uh, the equation of a circle. Now, sometimes, you know, it might not be a minus. But remember, the structure is you have to have z minus and then this. So in that case, suppose you have a question like this. Modulus of z plus 5 minus 2i equals to 3. And they ask you, write down the 
Cartesian equation of the locus. It is a locus. The word locus means equidistant. Since in a circle, the center is equidistant from, meaning the radius, it's surrounded by radius, the center is equidistant from the, you know, circumference, it's a locus basically, the point is a locus, locus means equidistant point. So here what we have to do, remember the question has to be in the minus form, so we have to write it like z minus, so instead of 5 we write minus 5, instead of minus 2 we write plus 2, i equals to 3, so that when we multiply by the minus it goes back to z plus 5 minus 2 i. Here we can write the center is minus 5 comma 2 and the radius as 3. So the Cartesian equation is going to be so x minus minus 5 which is x plus 5 whole squared plus y minus 2 whole squared equals to radius squared. That's it. 